Hi guys and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, my name is Milica Jovanka and today I am more than proud to say that we're going to review a new concealer. The reason I say I'm proud because I have to be honest here, Fenty Beauty DM'd me asking to send me products. Like that's a big deal. I don't care how many followers you have. Rihanna created that brand. Rihanna is a part of that brand and that brand wants to send you something. I mean like, it's like, wow, it's, it's like Rihanna was like touching me, you know, like that's crazy. <laughs> More seriously, I'm going to be 100% honest about this because there is no point in not being. And I believe that this thing that makes everyone so excited about anything that Fenty comes out with is because they are so good with taking any critiques and anything people have to say, you know, like, I mean, man, they change the industry. Some people might be bothered by that, but like they freaking change the industry. So here is another really, really amazing news is that the Fenty Beauty Foundation now has 10 more shades, which is 50 shades. This is so freaking cool. But the thing we are going to be talking about today are the concealers. So I have four shades right here. I also have the foundation. So we're going to use all of that. We also have powders. So I have the cashew and banana. I have no idea how many shades of these are. Let me check. Eight. Eight truly translucent shades. Okay, so I love the fact that they said truly translucent because here's the thing. If it's really super translucent, like super whitish, it's it's not working for many people. So it's not translucent for most. You know what I mean? So I guess probably this one will be looking translucent all over my face. It will be like my skin color. The banana one might be a little bit yellow, but it will probably be amazing for my other eyes going all over the place right now the excitement is real they also sent me these and i think that these are new so this is the original sponge and these are i guess i guess new ones for the concealers so we are going to use all of that today and yeah again i'm really 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 excited whenever any brand i admire decides to you know even just send me products because at the end of the day that means that the brand trusts what you are going to say positive or negative and believe it or not 99% of brands I ever work with are really okay with you being super honest about what you like or don't like what you want to see more or less of in with the brand so yeah now that I rambled of excitement for way too long let's get started so I'm gonna be honest I'm wearing my pajamas and everything because again I just got the products like one hour ago and I was like I don't care I'm filming now even if it's late I don't care I am filming so we're gonna prime the face and I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this thing is so good. At least for my skin, it works so well. I love it. We are primed, we are glowy, we're good to go. So I'm going to use the Pro Filter Foundation, obviously, and my shade, I believe, is 260. And here's the thing, so many people got mad at me the first time I was using it and reviewing it because I definitely chose the wrong color online, but I was so excited. It was finally available. I ordered whatever was the first one and the few left colors. So yeah, I hope that this one is gonna be right. And we are going to use the Fenty Beauty brush as well. I think that this is a little bit more yellow than I was expecting but I think that once blended it's gonna look great if I erase my brows I might cry be good going all over to blend it okay I have a question I feel like I feel like it looks a little bit yellow in my monitor and my computer, but it looks bomb here. If it looks weird here, I promise my camera is lying to you because I feel like it's matching perfect. So here's the thing. This concealer is coming in 50 shades. 50. Five, zero. 50. Like, this is amazing. This is beautiful. So. The other thing that I really appreciate is that they come with numbers, same numbers as the foundations. So for those of you who are looking for something that's exactly your skin color, 
that is exactly like only but okay here's the thing a lot of people like to say that concealers are always supposed to be lighter darker whatever here's the thing people who only use concealers don't wear foundation and only want to spot correct do like on the only eh, blah, 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 only do their under eyes they want the right color like for example my foundation is 260 Obviously, here's the 260 concealer. So if one day I decide not to wear any foundation, hop, a little bit of concealer, we correct a few things, she woke up like this, and here we go. So let me swatch you the color to see how close they actually are. And here is the foundation. Here we go. So the foundation even looks a little bit lighter right now, but as it dries, you will see that it's gonna be exactly the same color. So again, it's a lot easier. There's 50 shades. If you have never tried anything, I would definitely recommend going to your Sephora or something like that. I don't know if they're in Ulta. I don't know, Sephora at least for sure. And try to match yourself. If you only want the concealer, go for the concealer. But either way, no matter which, one, you have already matched yourself, your concealer is going to be that shade as well. But, but, I like my concealer personally to be lighter because I already have a full coverage foundation, so I want to highlight and conceal at the same time for my under eyes. So the color I will be going with today is going to be 240. A little bit lighter, so we look snatched, but not too light, so we don't look like overdone. So nothing wrong with that, but you know. Let me apply that over here. So here's what we are going to do. On this side, I'm going to blend it with the brush and on this side, I'm going to blend it with the little spongy thing. So let me start blending. See, if I can be honest here, I think that for me to have a even more highlighted look, I would probably go with 220, the shade, or maybe, yeah, 220. So it's even lighter because this is still really close to my skin color. But yeah, okay, it blends so smoothly, you guys. Can you see this? Mm. This is looking so smooth in my little mirror, really close up. Wow. Okay, this is really full coverage, you guys. This is really full coverage. Let me blend the other side with a little sponge. Here, here, here. Hmm. -mm. hmm. Okay, how to be honest, I don't really see a difference between the side we did with the uh, brush and the side we just did with the sponge. Other than with the sponge, it's always a little bit faster, I feel like. But the look and the finish seems to be the same. So here is a close-up. I'm seriously impressed by the coverage. It's really, really good. So let me apply some translucent powder now. So, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna look crazy, I know, but let's apply one shade on each side. So, this is banana and this is cashew. So, we're going to apply cashew on this side, banana here, so we can see if it makes a difference and which one we like better. And also, can we have a shout out like for the freaking packaging? Like, this looks like, I don't know, a jewelry box or something. It's so pretty. So, this is the banana one. So, obviously, a lot more yellow but I feel like it's only like a different undertone you know what I mean it's like same color different undertones so I'm taking first the banana one with the sponge I like to use a sponge for the under eyes just saying and let's apply it on this side mm. so here is how this first one looks like let me apply a little bit more. I want to kind of bake a little bit over there. And I'm going to take this little brush 
take some of the banana powder and apply on the rest of the face but only on this side again so I'm going in here over here so I feel like it's giving a highlighting effect for the under eyes definitely so if you are a little bit darker than me it's gonna be even more a highlight effect do you say highlight brightening oh, the word brightening brightening effect for the under eyes now let's apply the other one on this side see this one is a lot more peachy or neutral more looks more like my face let's say and apply it under here wow okay i have no idea how it looks on camera but here it looks like it just melted on my face it's see see how this side is like super bright and this side looks super like the rest of my face so let's take some with the brush this time and apply it just so we can kind of set the face so let's also remove the excess powder over here so I have to say one thing is that I personally like this side better because again I like having a little bit of that bright effect but if you are going for a super matte looking skin natural ish kind of thing I would say like use these type of colors but but mm, here's my point I don't know if you can see it but but it makes the skin look super filtered like really filtered i don't feel like it really even shows that i have a powder and i even baked so i have a lot of powder but it's not showing that much especially on the bright side because usually that's where it would show a little bit more and i feel like it's not showing that much at all and it looks really smooth i'm loving it I am going to go pack because I'm living from Miami and it's my first time. Yeah. Let me know anything really cool to do in Miami. I don't know if I have the time to, but oh my God, I'm so excited. Anyway, so I'm going to go pack and do a bunch of really annoying stuff for my apartment before we leave. And then I'll be back and I will tell you how it looks. So what I'm going to do before leaving as well is add a little bit of bronzer because I look dead and a little bit of highlight. So we see... How everything looks together but other than that i'm gonna leave for a few hours and i will be back to just update you see how it holds up and how it looks after a few hours so for my bronzer i'm using my lumi one from l'oreal and we're going to go not too much you know just snatch the face a little bit for the highlight obviously we're going to use Fenty Beauty and this is the Kila Watt and I'm using Fire Crystal which is like this bomb shade right here so let me apply some of that and here it is so one thing I have to say is that I feel like this concealer is bomb I'm gonna leave I'm gonna do my freaking suitcase and I'll be back in probably two hours, something like that, because I have a lot to do. But yeah, I, I, I'm i loving it. So far, it looks good. Hi guys, I am back. So I have a few things to say. First of all, I'm really tired. It's almost midnight. I ended up taking a while, but I did everything I had to do. So I'm kind of proud of myself. Anyway, so here's the thing about the concealer. First thing first, I again need a few shades lighter for the type of way I like to use my concealer when doing my makeup. I believe that the shade 260 is absolutely perfect. No, I'm lying, it's 240, I used it for 240. So I believe that the shade 240 is absolutely perfect on me in general, like if I'm going without makeup, just, you know, a quick, fix on the face that's the perfect color and if I really don't want any difference like highlighting or brightening my under eyes however I do like really a brighter effect so I will probably go more than two shades lighter than my foundation concerning the powder I need to be honest okay okay I need to be really honest uh I don't like the cashew color on 
me when I'm this pale. I'm honestly the palest I can get in my life. I'm really glad to go to Miami next week. I hope I'll be back like super tan. But yeah, I loved how it looked. Honestly, you guys, I ended up like doing my suitcase, cleaning my whole apartment, cooking dinner, eating, eating again. I mean, I did a lot of stuff. I, I was sweating and everything. And I believe that it looks really bomb. Like it didn't get oily where I put, like under the eyes, no creasing, nothing crazy going on. So it's really good. But, but for me, it's more the color. So yeah, I liked this side a little bit better because it was brighter. But again, I guess that if I get a little bit more tan, the shade Cashew might look really good. So texture, amazing. The pores, I don't know if you can see. Usually I have really large pores over here, especially at the end of the day when the makeup starts melting away. And I believe that this looks really good. I mean, especially the concealer actually already did a really good work. And that's where I was like, wow, this reminds me of my Tarte Shape Day because those are the only concealers that really when I apply them, even a lot and like over up to here, it makes my skin look flawless. So definitely a huge love for it. The one thing I have to say also is that the sponge is really good. Okay, I have never tried it. This is my first time trying it. I really liked it. And I feel like the concealer works really good with the brush, but it's a lot faster with the sponge as any concealer. Like it's not about the concealer, it's more like about the te technique, but that's a preference. But yeah, I think that's it. It was a little bit of a messy video. It was a last minute thing, but it's like super raw. And I guess you guys might appreciate that. So that being said, I think I've, if I'm not being wrong, they're launching this on January 11, which means I'll be in my Sephora that same day trying to get a few of the concealers in a really light shade and a deeper shade for my contour because that's my favorite trick ever. I use concealers for contouring all the time. You know what? I love you guys. I really hope you are going to appreciate this really messy video, but really honest. And I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Don't forget that I am posting every single week. So you might want to join the family. And that all being said, I love you so much. I really appreciate you staying and I will see you soon.